don't be someone's wife i'm going to tell you a story that how you start is how you're gonna end just like an aeroplane and you should actually apply that in everything that you do in this life Oh my god, I'm done with high school. I can't wait to join university, but wait. What major will I take? What course suits me best? I feel so empty on this. And where where will I stay? And do I have to live alone? How much is rent? Will I be able to make friends? And is it better staying in school hostel or living in my own apartment? Is campus a bed of roses just like they told us in high school? I'm so excited and I'm so confused right now. Like I wish I had someone to tell me this. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong. If you are about to join campus, I know these are some of the things going through your mind or maybe you're in your freshers year and you don't know how to go about campus life. These are a lot of pressures. Today I'm here, um, I'm your big sister and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know. So these are some of the things you need to, to know before you begin university. And I hope you note everything down. My little sisters, my little brothers. Joining university is a big, is a big decision, and it's a time for your personal growth. Apart from your academic growth, it's time for your. It's so crucial to your independent personal growth. So that's why you need to note these things. So the first thing you want to do is arrange your accommodation, especially if you you haven't joined campus yet. It's important to know where you're going to stay. Are you going to stay in the school hostels? Are you going to stay in your own apartment? Are you going to stay alone? Are you going to stay with other people? Like you need to weigh your options based on the school that you're going. I understand maybe sometimes you may think that maybe staying outside has its own pros. You may think it's cheaper, you have all the freedom and everything. Me, back in my days, um, <laughs> yeah, in my days, I used to think that staying outside is more, like, it gives you that freedom and everything. And it's more cheaper and you try to convince your parents, oh, I need to go and live in an apartment. And I went, lived with friends. Um... What I can say, for me, I prefer staying in school. You're able to concentrate just on your studies because you eat in school, you sleep in school, you shower in school. Like, So you need to weigh your options, what is best for you. You know, people are different. Maybe this will work for you. This won't work for another person. Just know what is best for you, you know. Let's head over to number two. Know exactly what you want to do and carry on with it to the end. I'm talking about the course that you take. I know it's so confusing to get what you really want to do, especially if you've not decided up to that time. Um, I understand in most universities when you get to school, you're given um, a period of maybe one week, two weeks to change your course. You can change your course from what you previously get admitted got admitted with you can change to another course so if you have not yet decided you can decide between this time and don't do a course because others are doing it your friends from high school are doing it or your your parents are pressuring you to do it if you make sure that you consult enough whatever you need to know and once you decide don't be discouraged by anyone. I was surprised to learn that in some engineering courses that lecturers and even some students can judge people based on their look. Like if you're so pretty and especially if you're a girl or a woman, they tend to think that this is not for you. You're supposed to be in something else like catering or something like that. And also people in 
like people get you can really get discouraged what i'm going to tell you is that as long as you know this is what you want to do do not let anyone make you feel like you're not good enough carry on carry on to the end and beat off their asses and show them that you can really do this okay take my word you'll be proud of it when you finish school because it's something you love you know yeah we have budgeting you need to know how to budget for your things you need to not use your money uh, without without a plan because it's going to get you into a deep struggle at the end of the semester you know if you're given some money by your parents remember that your parents or whoever is paying for you for your school is supporting you and they're believing that you'll big enough maybe to handle money like show them that you can do that so that they can trust you and it's good even for your personal growth because you'll understand how to budget and plan for your money once you're out of school you see another thing don't spend overspend especially if you come like if you come especially if you come from a background that you don't have a lot of money make sure that you don't get to the peer pressure of overspending your money on clothes drugs those kind of things and another thing if you can just don't do drugs don't do drugs in the university no matter how the peer pressure is because most people here like most people start doing drugs and doing many weird things in in the university but this is going to get you in a deep end especially if you get addicted it will be so difficult for you later in life to to plan your life like it will affect you for the rest of your life just don't do drugs and doing drugs can actually take up a lot of your money like without thinking just i've seen people drop out of school because this is a true testimony. People have dropped up out of school because of doing drugs. They can't go to class. Like they're not able to even go to class because they're maybe so drunk or so high, those kind of things. You know, people try students try to make it look so cool, like it's the cool thing to do. But my advice to you just don't do drugs. It will derail you emotionally, financially. And you won't even have a good relationship with your parents and yeah have boundaries like you need not just to know your boundaries but also to invest in them and yeah and do them like don't be someone's wife in your first year like don't be doing things for someone else you came to school to study you just go get your degree, get your diploma, get your PhD and just get out of the school. Don't be someone's wife in school. Don't do their laundry, suji what? Suji do their utensils, cook for them. You didn't come to school to be someone's wife. Go, go, go to school and do what brought you there. Another thing, uh, in your freshers year, like most people will try to take advantage of you because they think you're naive if you're not best for you and you know you you, you won't know but you no know, you don't know these things so most especially men will try to take advantage of the young girls that are getting into the school they want to sleep with them they want like to be their first love in campus those kind of things it will mess you up not only emotionally and it will just mess you up don't do that you if you're a fresher just don't date maybe up to your second year until you so you you know everything about the school you know how everything goes how the gist the do's and don'ts of the school no i'm not saying you know you're not supposed to fall in love but at least in your freshers year keep out of it another thing Learn to respect your personal space. Don't just let anyone come to your personal space. Anyone that wants to come hang out with you, like let your personal space be your personal space. Maybe you can have a few intimate people like your friends, those kind of things, but don't just let anyone come to your personal space. Just respect it.
this is something I wish I knew back then. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the to the next thing. Involve yourself with good company. You know the thing with campus, there's a lot of peer pressure, especially in your first year. In your first year, there's a lot of peer pressure. Join good clubs. Join environmental clubs. Those kind of things, trauma clubs, like. You know that you know yourself. You know the kind of people you want to attract in your life. If you if you join yourself with bad companies, you'll find that even when you try to get yourself later out of this relationship, it will be so difficult transitioning before you find other good people that you can relate with, and you just can't get rid of people. You know, so like from your first year, from how you begin, just be yourself. Do what you feel feels like you. Don't do anything out of pressure. And especially if you come from a place where your parents maybe are seeing a future with you, they are depending on you, they are depending on your education. And you don't come from a place of a lot of money like me. Do not fall into the trap, as I say, into the trap of drugs. And bad company, <laughs> this will really be bad for you. Like, it will derail you, derail you so much. And like the the rich kids, you know, they have everything set out for them. So you just start out well from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story that my choreographer at Room Sam, you can check his YouTube channel. He likes to tell me whenever I'm lagging behind, especially with content creation. He tells me a story of an aeroplane. How you begin is how you end. An aeroplane, you see when an aeroplane is beginning on the runway, it starts at a very high speed because when it's in the air, it can't add speed. It can only reduce, it can't increase speed no matter what, like it's not possible. This, that speed that it begins with is the same speed that it lands with at its destination. So I'm trying to say like how you start is how you end. If you're doing your time management well, if you're budgeting well, you're doing all the classes, you can only reduce the speed or that effort over the years, but you can't increase it. And if you have to increase it, you really have to put extra effort so it's better you start at the beginning it's better you start good at the beginning it won't be hard for you along the way to the end how you start is how you're gonna end just like an aeroplane and you should actually apply that in everything that you do in this life moving on time management here we talk about attend all your lectures don't oversleep and don't undersleep like you need enough sleep i know most of us this is something i wish i knew back then i really used to be to watch so much movies deep into the night and once that happened when it's time for lectures at 8 a.m like i can't go it's either i escape the, le the lessons or I find myself being sleepy i'm not or i'm not prepared enough for the exams like it, it derailed my my grades to some point so you get enough sleep and manage your time well manage everything well and always try and attend every lecture it will be so good for you you know you know your parents like you're paying for that education the the lecturers are there for your money take advantage of it okay this is going to be the last thing. Finish what you started. If you started first year and your nini was going maybe for three years, make sure that you don't get lost along the way. Um, I know these people, these days people are saying, oh, you know, there's a lot of unemployment going on, a lot of graduates without jobs. Let me tell you, a graduate with a degree or a diploma or whatever is better off than a person without. It doesn't matter if you if you get the, the job with your degree or not. Just make sure you finish what you started. 
and don't fall for people oh you know starting your business is better than finishing school even if like you you hear a lot of people saying maybe there's some people there's some big people who dropped out of school and now they are rich you run that that won't be you you just finish school it's better off cuz when you finish school even if you won't get a job immediately it will come along maybe not something related to that and after all university is a place to go and learn so much skills uh you learn how to manage your things you learn how to manage your money you learn how to interact with people so you just know you're not going there just for that degree you know that you'll come out with something better you'll come out as a better person if you plan yourself well and also make sure that you're learning skills you can learn there are a lot of things you can learn from youtube anything that you're passionate about yeah learn skills valuable skills that can help you later in life yeah that's it and if you've come to this end first of all I'm surprised and thank you so much share the video yeah bye thank you so much